Detroit, the Android City. Let's do this. Marcus is just on another level. I love that about him too. Because the way he starts out, his little backstory is just amazing. And then who he becomes, or how you allow him to become, is just so interesting. My god. I was wondering where you were. I'm here feeling the hatred of the world, thanks to you. Well, not entirely thanks to you, but, you know. Thank you. needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. That's dangerous. Too too many of them, and they don't know where you you guys are hiding out. You seem preoccupied. Appeal of power. Yesterday, when we set fire to that place, ugh, all that chaos, the flames. In that moment, I enjoyed it. The power, the violence, and I hate myself for feeling that way. Oh my God, he's the most human the media are talking thing about I've ever heard. The humans are terrified. Yeah, some long ass hair. Civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. I figured. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Optimistic. No, not all humans are the same. Exactly. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Ah, uh, poor Carl. In our playthrough, he died of a heart attack because his crappy son kept abusing me. The truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. North's past. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you? Yeah, what, what made you such a rebel? Talk about it. Oh, that's not fair. You asked me. Trust, understanding, curious. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. That's not fair. You asked me. Trust. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Oh, man. I'm just laying it down. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Oh, uh, I think I know what kind of pleasure. Damn, that's messed One up. One day I was with a man who rented me. So you worked in Club Eden? And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Wait, 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 there wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. 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 Is it but Connor dealt with her unless this is a separate situation in which the guy was strangled while trying to have sex with an android. What? Cuz that happened in the earlier episode with Connor. I like how he has two different colored eyes, man. I... I saw your memories. Carl's house. Yes. And he left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Girl, where are you going? Huh.
Oh, that's right. The girl had blue hair in the Eden Club. Thanks. You reminded me. It's just crazy. It's the same situation, though. Oh, yeah! You're back! The viewers told me he'd be back, and he's back! It's because I didn't go check the roof. But I didn't know I wouldn't be able to, but I'm kind of glad he's back. That whole situation downstairs distracted me from the fact. Then that means that the cops in the who were there with me are just horrible. Just saying, I didn't check the roof so they don't do it. Jesus Christ. But oh well, he's back. Awesome sauce. This what are is we suicide. What are we doing now? We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. What are you doing? What are we going to do? On the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. What are we doing? They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. Oh, I see. The more we are, the stronger our message. So let's get them. Let's see everything that we can interact with. How? Invert. Join my crew, Scallywag. He's like, whoa, freedom. Did it say androids in what? There's another one right there. Prepare to march. Go to street. Nope, not yet. We can get some more people. Need all the androids we could get. You're free. Awesome. Two androids in the ranks. You know, I bet President Moore was in bed inside the Anything else? Yes. This one's gonna <laughs> pretty gonna be pretty funny because he's holding her bags. She is holding her bags. <laughs> You're awake now. Oh yeah. Any more? Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Oh, we're gonna get all the androids on our side. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Okay. Oh. We convert you. You can put her bags down. You are free. It's like okay then, and she's just none the wiser. Um. Oh, it's another one right there. Oh, there's one right there. Let me get you before you walk away. You're free now. Uh oh. You stay right here, you fucking machine. Why? See the problem. Shit! What's wrong with you? Intervene. You... Back up. Hey. Oh, hey, I, I like how he free. just gave up. He's like, "Oh, damn. Sorry." I need to block the street. All right. Block this street. Oh, the truck. That's amazing. Okay. Open the manhole cover. Any more androids, though? Hold on. Thought I saw one. No? Alright. 
Ah, uh, you got this. Oh, who are we getting? Oh, we're getting everybody. This is gonna be exciting. Convert more androids. Oh. What? Just by looking at them? Oh look! It's Kara! Again! Wait, 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 wait. This guy is completely overpowered. He is Android Jesus. Marcusan, the android of all androids. Break the glass, I know you can do it. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Oh my god. I am your leader. I don't even need to hold down the button anymore, just press it. My god, he's overpowered. Yes. <laughs> it says something about the androids. Oh. Come with me, come with me, come with me. Oh, 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 I got you, I got you. Well, what are you gonna do? We are an army. And we're not gonna hurt you, but still. Oh, there's a couple of them in the parking station over there. We can relieve them of their duties. They're standing duties. Disperse. Disperse immediately. No, officer, we're not doing anything wrong. Raise hands. Advance. We're not gonna hurt you. We're not gonna hurt you, man. Come on. You don't need to. Yeah, just move out the way, dude. Let us walk. This bed's control 457. I got a lot of androids down here. We are people. Oh, hundreds. We are people. Thousands of people. We are people. They're not just people. Free people. Free people. down the street. This is amazing. Free. Set us free. Set us free. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. We are alive. We are alive. Come on, you guys don't gotta get extra here. Are you serious? Bruh. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. What? We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Shoot what? Like beanbag Marcus, shots kill or we actual bullets? Attack. So you're going to do that to regular There's humans too? We can take them. No. Attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. Exactly. We just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now. 
before it's too late. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious, man? I guess we could go and come back another time. Don't Break shoot. It. Don't shoot. We're leaving. This ain't the end. You gonna shoot anyway? On my orders. <laughs> oh, you guys. Disperse. These people are animals. Come on, Marcus. We gotta go. Right, so we tried the violent path, we tried the peaceful path, it all ends the same. Hey, my bad I wasn't reading it. I got I got dragged into the moment. Oh, but look, I picked the same thing you pretty much mentioned. Just You were like, just leave, man. I was going to do the same thing. Oh, but look, I guess there was a lot more if we would have attacked them. But I just don't see Marcus as that type, so I can't really bring myself to do it. November 9th, 2038. Talk to Amanda. Again? All right. Oh, the water's frozen now. Amanda. Sometimes it's just good to retreat. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that last chapter. <laughs> After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Maski. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Emotional. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I don't care, man. Now go screw yourself. Connor series. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Amanda's picture. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? secret this place did Kemsky design this place I expect you to find answers Connor. shut up not ask questions you're the only one who can prevent civil war find the deviants or there will be chaos this is your last chance Connor She could go screw herself, and like you said, her feelings don't matter. Plus, I'm tired of her anyway. It's about time. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. And we're gonna do it anyway. Screw the FBI. That dark thing near when we went to go speak to Amanda? Yeah, what's that? Tell me what did I miss out on? Man, let's, uh, let's talk to Hank real quick. Hanky, are you okay? 
Connor's showing more emotion now. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. You always have a choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're That's... on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. Yes, he did. Or yes, I did. Time. Empathy's a human emotion. Not deviant. I'm not a deviant, Hank. I'm a machine. Nothing more. Hank's secret. I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. <laughs> we can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. He doesn't want to be Five destroyed. Minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Oh yeah. Okay, move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> Alright, come on. You got five minutes. Perkins. He obtained, and the room. I don't want to. I, I don't want to mess this up in any way. You it is this way. Wait, what is happening? <laughs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's totally lost it. Give me another shot at that little hey, prick! That's gonna cost you your bed. <laughs> that's amazing. Wait, which way, which way? Oh, 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 I can't screw this up. Go, 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 go. That's hilarious, though. <laughs> Got to swing on the little bastard. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Who the hell is that? Oh my god. Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Oh, you're gonna get it. I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Son of a bitch. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, that's what a gun sounds like. Have you ever shot one? <laughs> Go on then. Get a fucking move on. Oh, can I hit him? Can I hit him before I leave? Please? Fucking Android. Oh, that guy's such a douchebag. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn around. Oh, that black thing when I went to go speak to Amanda was the thing that Kamsky spoke about? Damn it! Wish I would have checked it. Oh well. Hank's password. Ah, uh, shit. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? The name of his son, possibly? Date of birth? Stupid idea. It's not Hankish enough. <laughs> 
Effing password. Oh, this game is beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow, components. Additional bio components needed. Okay. Freedom. All right. Yes. Where are you hiding? All right. Put back. Let's see. It's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. All right. Need encryption key. What about the stuff over here? The android that murdered its owner. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Yes, because every time he, he gets somebody, it, sa it says um, where to go. All right. He tells them where to go. Jericho. All right. So we're going to give you what you need, my friend. All right. All right, buddy. Here you go. Not a match. Arr. All right. Here, you can take that back. All right, all right, all right. Boom. Ah, I see. Circle, but it's like the position where everything is at is pretty weird. Wait, so it needs a 3983V, okay. That's a 3983V, why the hell didn't it work? No, this is the correct piece, 3983V. There we go. It didn't register earlier. All right. Say you want to be free. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. I want to be free. Try to trick him. Okay. How? 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 Ha ha. Thank you, viewer, for helping me with that. All right. We got this. Gonna take Marcus's voice. But it is also a warning. 
All right. But Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. This guy, man. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. We got it. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Oh, Don't this do it, guy. Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now it's gonna be definitive. This freaking guy. Oh, get, get, give me that gun. Give me that freaking gun. Come on. Oh, you're such a tough guy, right, Gavin? Come on. Come on, get up! Oh! <laughs> you shouldn't have messed with me. Fix my tie. You brute bastard. What happened here? <laughs> Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm! Now! That cop ran so slow, he don't want to get the alarm. He just ate donuts. He's full. He's stuffed. Uh, I can call you Ben. All right, man. Thank you, Ben. Holy crap, so many options that I missed. But thank you, Ben. I would definitely call you that. So, all right, so Connor has the answers now. We finally beat the crap out of that bastard Gavin. It's, it's turning out to be... This is the, this is the playthrough right here. <laughs> If I ran, oh yeah, I didn't know that. So if I would have ran out of time, I'm, uh, I Connor would have been deactivated. That would suck. Nobody wants that. <clears throat> oh no! Oh my Jesus! They gonna kill him? Oh my God! It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. That's insane. They shot that guy for no reason. Um, speak to Alice? No. But another song. No, 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 we... Damn it! I don't want to put this depressing crap. They're all androids. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. The jam. All right. Cars are so fugly in this game. Well, at least these are. I got you. I like the way the, car, the the doors close as well. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. She knows Marcus. How? It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. 
Yeah. Thank you Good old Alice. Yours. She is a brave little girl, honestly. Let me know when you make it over there, alright? And be careful. All right, let's do this. So I was wondering where her storyline would connect with, you know, everyone else, and it looks like we are officially there. It's probably the wrong way. Oh no, so it is that way. Okay. And there's Jericho, the big old boat, and Connor should be on his way there as well. Six two Nutco. <laughs> oh oh man Connor look at you oh we gotta do the same thing that we did for uh for um I can't think apparently Marcus there we go oh, oh I guess we're not gonna actually do it he's gonna do it himself Connor's a strong independent android This it? Looks like everything's coming to a close fairly soon. Oh look, it's, it's it's another Kara right there. Hi Kara. Hi me. So some people are getting it. Okay. Find a warm place for Alice. Uh, yes, we shall. Let me just make sure there's not other things I get to check. Alright, so, yep, let's just give her a warm place then. Come on, Alice. There you go. Have a seat, Alice. What does that mean? Are you sick? Did you even eat your spaghetti earlier? I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. Luther died because of my my okay? bad choice. It's okay though. You will live on in our memories. Of which there are many. Some of which are just programmed in there. Oh, hey, it's her. I like to call her the Oracle. Oh, nice. We found our way. Oh, boy. Don't catch anyone's attention. Where we headed? Find Deviant Leader. Don't catch anyone's attention. C4. Slaughter us. They look like just people, people who want to be free. 
Oh, they're getting their own freaking surveillance drones. Oh, that's a person. Whoa, I'm so sorry, Android. Fellow Android, I just assumed you were another piece of machinery. Oh my god. My frames. Why are you dropping like that? Creating legs and whatnot. It's awesome. Alright. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Hello, freaky looking lady. Oracle. <laughs> All right, where's Marcus? Fine leader of Jericho. Marcus. Marcus. That's a lie. That's a lie to reduce Detroit to a state of chaos. That is such a lie. There he is. Stressing out. Don't worry, Messiah Jer Messiah Marcus. Messiah of Jericho. You got this. Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Awesome, so we can't do it tonight. So with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Not all humans, dude. You said it yourself. Bond. She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. Maybe that will open his eyes a little bit. Because he's completely dark-sided by what they did. I don't blame him, though, because that what they did in that last... During the march was just completely harsh. Turn to Alice. All right, she better be there. I swear to God. Uh, I believe she's over here, right? Yeah, she should be over here. Alice. That's not. Oh snap! Alice is an android. That's her. Technically, I technically kind of already knew. Uh, a few weeks we back, a few weeks back, someone kind of exposed the truth to me, but I didn't have In any proof of it. it so I kept an open mind, but then today I was thinking about the fact that. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? I'll let her finish. Maybe that's what it means to be alive, forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. I see. She played as a human because that was what she needed. Or at least she thought she needed. But I figured she was because I thought about it today earlier because it was brought up again in the, in the stream. Um, essentially, you never see the little girl eat. The first time you prepare dinner, her dad flings the table. She doesn't eat. Um, the night when you save her, you can steal the food. I failed to do it, but I'm pretty sure she won't eat it. It's it, she'll just find an excuse or something will happen. Then there was Ralph who tried to feed that disgusting dead animal he killed. We, I mean, even if she could eat, she was not going to eat that. 
and then we didn't even see if she ate the spaghetti. She kind of was hesitant to eat it at all. Then the cop showed up, and then she was downstairs. It was, she never ate. Androids don't need to eat. So, it kind of clicked. All right, so now what? Oh, this is the real her right here. Don't look at her different just because she's an android. But I guess the it, it, it's a, more of a fear now because, like, you know, what happens now if they find her out she is one? Kara, is there something wrong? You're an android, kiddo. A hug. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Yes, we will. Yes. Make sure nothing happens to you. Forever. This is like, out of everyone else, as I, it's, if these two survive, I'll be happy. I mean, I'll still be mad if Connor dies and Marcus, but you know. These two have done no wrong. Jericho. There's no way to make this ship operational and just sail off. <laughs> We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Sort of true, but at the same time, you had to fight for something. Somber. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow! I didn't say anything that bad, really. I guess the final part, I did add the aggressiveness. Remorse. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue. Confrontation. Dialogue. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. Oh boy. I need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Alright, I'm gonna take that into con a huge consideration. So no aggravation in terms of my words. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. What do you plan on doing? He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. No, that's not... I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. No. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I'll keep it, but I'm not going to use it. I just hope we never have to use it. I agree. What 
Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Oh snap. Oh snap. We're back to this. Let's do it. Go for it, Marcus. Get it! So if you die, you could at least remember this moment in your final moments. I don't want him to die. I need to find a way to get this right. That's awesome. Another experience that I don't think any many other um, androids have felt. Maybe those two lesbian girls, but that's about it. And now he has more to fight for as well. Someone he, who cares about him and he cares about. I don't want to lose you. So sad. And intense. We gotta get this right. Wait, she didn't see him? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. It is in his mind. I called it. I called it. No, uh... In order to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Alright. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Instructions. Intimidate. Uh... Don't force me to neutralize you. Heal. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Why don't you say nothing? No doubts. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or living being he's talking the facts man full of reason i think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question it's time to decide i think it was just a matter of time it's time to break free connor break free Yes. Open it. They're going to attack Jericho. What? Oh no. We have to get out of here. Shit. Oh man. What? Oh, come on. That's not Jesus. That's not. Quick, we've got to get out of here. Oh, they're sending the army. Delta 
Oh, this freaking guy. Oh no. Rats in the maze. You piece of crap. We gotta take him down. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. To the left, to the left. Oh my god. To the right, to the right. Come on, Alice. Go, 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 go. Oh, he just got killed. Jesus. Oh boy. Oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna have to make it right. Come on. Alright, listen, they better not have hit Alice or anybody, I swear to god. Message. Their exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Simon and Josh, helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Simon and Josh. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't Connor, be long. Connor can help. Oh. Never mind. Connor is going to just try to save himself. It's okay. Connor, you've done good. <laughs> nah, he probably has to serve some other kind of purpose. Oh no, the Oracle! This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I'll try, Oracle. Oh, come on. So, all the way down the hold, she says. Oh, Jesus! Crap, 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 crap. Get up, get up. Alright, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna need a gun of some kind or something. Alright, we're back here. Alright, awesome. Crap, 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 crap. Go, go, go. All right. Fine. Fine. God. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 did you dare? No, you don't, you don't. Come on, Kara, you can do this. Kill this motherfucker. Grab it, grab it. Yes. Are you alright, Kara? Yes. See why we shouldn't have opened the door, kid? No, we kind of could. You could close the door now. Take his AR. They didn't see them? They're blind. You should take his gun and gun down some of those soldiers. This is insane. Oh my god, I thought it froze for a second. Frame has been dropping a little bit lately. Don't know why. Oh. Ooh, go, go, go. Oh no. Intervene, I can't. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Oh baby, we got this. We got this. Marcus, you saved Go now! Hurry! This guy. We have an AR now though, right? No, you dropped it again. God, what's wrong with you guys? Gamma squad out. Tango! Uh. Woo. Look out. There they come. Surprise didn't. Oh. We surrender. Don't shoot. 
Alright. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta save these guys. Bam! Oh! For Jericho! Now go! They're doing the right thing here. Alright. Alright, alright. Um. Oh, crap. Of course. Oh! 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 No, you don't. Get that knife away. Ah, oh, my face! My pretty face! Oh my god! Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Why can't we take their guns? Come on. We're safe, Alice. No, we're not. Stop. Play dead. Run. Play dead. Don't move. Oh, please don't. Please don't shoot. Come on, that's a little girl. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh my god. That is horrible. Quick, we gotta go. Jesus Christ, man. And they call us the monsters, the machines? Who ordered you to do this? Oh man, dude. This is the ship this is the bombs? You come in here growling like that. Like you're gonna stop me. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mm. You got this. Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh, nice. There we go. That's what I've been talking about. Come on. Stop putting the guns down and use it. All right, let's get out of here. I'm telling you, you should take one of the guns. I know he doesn't want to kill people, but Jesus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. All right, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, parkour, parkour, parkour. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no, not my girlfriend. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. You sound just like her right now. I'm gonna save her. This is the character I I made him to be. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Oh my god. Oh, that is so awesome. Yes. Over there. Use the shield. Use the shield. Oh, Connor, in on the action. Oh! Woo. Oh crap! No! No! Oh my god, he is a savage! These guys are horrible at shooting, they're worse than stormtroopers. But I guess it's a good thing at the same time, but you know. Awesome, they're in the water. Connor got out, right? Detonated explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. He said, "Crap." Didn't over, Marcus. Dude, just leave them alone. It's per it sounds personal at this point when you're calling him by name. Jesus. Oh, awesome. We missed a, f a bunch of things, but. We did a lot of good too, I think.
We almost had a flawless uh, situation, but Connor got shot. It's okay. 